so I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. Um, I could leave them just like this. I mean, it's not, they're not too bad, but they're, you know, they're a little sparse at the beginning, like at the front of them, and then, you know, like one's a little thinner on the outside than the other one, so just to make them even, I have this brush, which it, bleh, brush, which it came with a kit, like I said, of the 32 brushes on Amazon. It has a little angled side, and then the brush side and the comb side. So, I mean, you could use it for your eyes if you want to. Eyelashes, but I use Anastasia, 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 whatever you call it. Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. Um, with my hair, since I do have blonde in there, all my roots are going out right now. Getting my hair did today. So excited. Um, but it looks like this. It's a pomade. It's waterproof. It is amazing. I'll never use anything else. This thing lasts for like a year. Um, there's so much in here. It's only $18. It's Sephora or Ulta. And I use the cap as a mixer. Um... You really can't beat it. I mean, the brush, you, you can buy their brush for $18 also that looks like this. But, like I said, I went on Amazon, bought a whole bunch for, you know, like $14. So what I take is I take a chunk and I just mix it around in the lid with my little angle brush and get it all over the brush. And then I just start filling in my eyebrow and I start from over here. And I know it's kind of hard to see with the lighting. My lighting is going away. I don't have a professional studio like most of the YouTubers do. I just film this on my tablet. At home. In my bedroom. That's it. Nothing special. See how much better it looks than my left eyebrow. I got the arch going on in there. And then I'll go and fill in my other eyebrow. I mean, it's just as simple as that. People are always asking me how I do my eyebrows. And this is exactly how I do it every day. I just fill them in with this pomade. I use the blonde because it's more of a taupey color. It's not like super blonde. And then with my hair being blonde and brown, it just mixes nicely and gives it enough color, but not too dark because I don't want my eyebrows to be darker than my hair. I just don't like, I don't like that look. When your eyebrows are darker than your hair, it's, it's weird. I th well, I think it's weird. I mean, if you like it, then you like it, but I tend to keep my eyebrows a little bit thinner um, than most. I know, like, chunky eyebrows are the in thing right now, but I just don't think it looks good on me, and I think you should go with what looks good on you instead of what's in style. i just make sure I cover all my hairs, because I do have... Sadly, at 31 years old, I have gray hairs in my eyebrows and in my hair. It's sad. You can't see it right now, but it makes me really sad. <laughs> but when I get them to where they're about even, about even, they'll never be exactly even. Everybody's face is not completely 100% symmetrical. One of my eyelids droop more than the other one. I have to drag this eyeshadow out more to make it look comparable to this side. I have to bring this one up higher when I think that they're symmetrical. They're not because I, then I have all this space up here and not on this side. So I have to, you know, use illusion to make it look completely symmetrical. And then I just use my little comb, little, not the comb part, but the brush part. And I just brush them out. You don't want to brush all the product out, but you don't want it to look like, you know, you're a Barbie and you have painted on eyebrows. You want them to look 
you know, like it's real, like it's your actual eyebrow hair. So I just brush them out to make them look more natural. And then, yeah, that's all I do for my eyebrows. That's it. But I guess I'll do my lipsticks at the same time as I do my eyebrows because that was super quick. Um, what I use to line my lips is the No Bleeding Lips. I think that's the brand. It's a clear lip liner because I use lots of light lips. I don't do dark lips usually on me because I have little lips. You know? And some just doesn't look good on me. So, you'd think that I wouldn't do lipstick. Or, I mean, you can go one of two ways with this. Um, I just line my lips. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's clear. It just keeps it from bleeding. Kind of blurs that tail. So I just do that. And um, I do clear because I don't have to buy 5 billion lip liners, you know. Plus, I don't never really use lip liners, but this stuff does is nice because it keeps it from bleeding out. And then I'm going to put on, some of you think that you can't do a bright lip with bright eye, but you can. Depends on what kind of look you're going for. I usually wear a lot of makeup always, so it's not, you know, un normal for me to wear a lipstick with a bright eye. Normally I would just wear a nude lip or a light pink, but this I think would pair nicely with Lucky by Tarte. It's like a matte pink color, really pretty. And I just put it on straight from the tube. It's on the darker side of the pinks. Uh, I just go all the way to the edge of my lips. Make sure I go all the way to the bottom. I use the edges, it's nice because wide fills in your lips but then you can use the outside but this stuff has like a minty smell it smells really good and tastes pretty good which is not often with a lipstick usually they taste gross and they smell good or they smell bad and taste gross but that's how I do my lips and see it's not overpowering my eyeshadow at all it's just a nice, pretty pink of all those dark. Or you can go nude and just do like a nude lip or even use foundation and blot it over your lips and put a little bit of clear gloss over it, which makes it look nude anyway, and then you don't have to buy a nude lipstick if you don't want to. But that's my completed look for my whole face, which I do almost every day. Um, some people might think it's too much, but... It's just me. If you want to follow me, you can look me up on Facebook and add me as a friend. Um, I just do this for fun, so it's not like I'm, you know, sponsored or anything. I don't have my own page. But I do have a makeup page showing um, makeup that I've done on myself and makeup that I've done on other people, which I do just for fun on my spare time. And so there's pictures of them on there. You can like me. You can contact me if you want me to do your makeup. Um... And my phone number's on there. Um, you can message me on there. Uh, you can look me up at www.facebook.com slash makeup by Kelly Koval with a capital K. And, well, maybe it doesn't have a capital K, but it's makeup by Kelly Koval slash makeup by Kelly Koval. And you can just look me up. You'll find it. You can look me up on my page, Kelly Koval. Add me as a friend. And <laughs> you can like my makeup page from there, too. So... Anyway, hope you liked it all. Let me know. Bye.